over the years has built itself to be one of the most well-respected surf brands in the world. It was established in 1971 on the east coast of Australia and over the last 40 years uh, Nirvana has had team riders that have won world championships on Nirvana surfboards and it's been known as a very high performance premium surf brand. About five years ago my partner and I decided that we wanted to grow the Nirvana brand and to build the business so that the boards were more widely available. One of the first missions that we had was to create a flagship shop in the United States. And so we chose Cardiff, California. Our store here is heavily rooted in the local surf scene. We wanted to make sure that we're delivering lots of custom boards that are our perfect fits. That is, is mirroring what we do right now in Australia. When you get to the level where some of these surfers are, you have to be able to make very small adjustments but still keep the integrity of that master shape. This factory is where all the Nirvana boards that are made domestically are made. We also have the ability to do this in Australia. These machines are computer numeric controlled machines. The machines here reproduce the boards to certain dimensions so that they're consistent. And that does about 95% of the work, but the last 5 to 10% is uh, is where the sole gets put back in and you need a experienced, skilled shaper to finish the board and that's, that's how you customize a board. Some of the biggest challenges in the future, I think, are to continue to grow but keep that really core feel with the brand. Try to surround yourself with people that are really good at, at doing things that can support you. Uh, from the financing side, a lot of times money can be the biggest obstacle and typically in a small business, things always cost more than you think they're gonna cost. I went to a number of different banks to try to open an account that was gonna do what I needed to do. One of the critical things that Citibank was able to offer was the ability to deal with international transactions. We get payment from other countries and we also have relationships with companies overseas. It's been so seamless that I, I don't really uh, know much more than the money goes in and out. And so it's, you know, that's something that I take for granted. Every business has issues with what to do when they want to grow. About two years into our relationship with Citibank, Citibank came to me and asked if, if we were ready to open a line of credit. That was something that I didn't expect. It's always been helpful to be able to go in and talk to someone that has done this for other small businesses and can make recommendations to help us grow. The people and the brand are our partner with where I'm trying to go with my business. That's something that I don't feel that I've ever had in a bank and I really feel that it's critical for our success moving forward.